I'm going to tell you a sad story, <clears throat> but first I'm going to tell you what a genius I am in this brilliant idea I had. Okay, I crossed the border this morning, hour and a half on the Colombian side, hour and a half on the Ecuador side, so three hours is better than five hours. I got there at six o'clock in the morning, um, and the lines were huge by the time I was leaving. I got across the border, and then I've got to wait for my bus, and I've got a number of hours to wait for the bus. And it's been two days. I, I get home tomorrow morning. Um, I need a shower. I need to change my clothes. I mean, I'm kind of rank, so... Hmm, what should I do? Right across the street, there's some hostels. So I walk over and I said, Hey, would you rent me a room for three hours? <laughs> I can imagine what they were thinking. But I told her that, you know, I just want to use the shower and just rest a little bit, maybe eat lunch in their restaurant and then go catch my bus. So, sure, three hours, eight dollars. Okay, so I come up, I got the room, I'll do a, uh, I'll do a cut in clip of the room in a minute. Yeah, nothing great, but it's eight dollars and it's a hot shower. Works really well. <clears throat> it's got Wi-Fi. It looks pretty decent, so I'm going to try to get this video done and maybe even get it uploaded before I get on that bus. Now for the sad part. So I'm waiting for my bus in the lobby before I decided to go look for a, a shower because I got here this morning and my bus leaves at 4.30 in the afternoon. So I'm waiting in the lobby. It's the upstairs part of Tolkan. It's where you buy your ticket for a direct bus um, double-decker to Cuenca uh, with Flota in Bobura or something like that. So I sit down and I see these two little kids playing and they're kind of they're grubby and their hair's a mess and look like they hadn't showered in a week. And um, but they were very they're funny. They were laughing, carrying on, having a good time. Nothing uh, crazy. <clears throat> yeah, I'm at altitude and <clears throat> I'm not sick though. It's okay. So I see the kids and then uh, the mother comes over and gives them a hug and and she looks like a skeleton. The kids looked thin, but not like skeletons. But the mom, really high cheekbones, bony hands, um, her hair is all dirty and matted. And, and then her husband or her brother, I, I'm, they talk so fast I, I didn't catch it. Uh, he came over and he was really a walking skeleton. You could see that, you know, somebody's given up food for the kids. And it's, I mean, it's just heartbreaking. And I had previously gone downstairs to a vendor and decided I would get some snacks for the bus. I've got 14, 15 hours on the bus once I get on it. So I got a couple um, empanadas and one of those potato with egg inside, um, Papa Reano Huevo or something like that. Uh, two dollars I go back upstairs I've got the bag the the little girl started mommy mommy she's pointing in the little little snack window and and her mother is blushing and you know saying no and you could tell they were hungry so I I, had, I said are you from Venezuela and the mother said uh, yeah so I said well here here I don't need this Oh my God, the kids just tore into it. The mom tore into it. The father or brother was off somewhere doing something. When they started eating, they were shaking. They were just shaking like this and eating. Um, it, it was hard to see. I can imagine um, it was hard to be. Um, 
<laughs> but they only got a few bites into it and they couldn't eat anymore. So obviously they just haven't been eating. And um, I look around the room and there's a few more skeletons walking around and you know they're <clears throat> I see an interaction a little bit later. They're sitting right next to me almost, ahead of me, and I'm against the wall, and they're ahead of me. And they're counting their money, and they've got these um, Bolivar, the Venezuela money. And she goes to a Western Union and changes it and comes back, and she's got coins. It was a stack, and she's got coins. <clears throat> so they're going through their money, and. Um, he goes up to the ticket window and they're trying to figure out essentially bus tickets that they could afford. So they're trying to find the cheapest way to get where they're going. And um, it was obviously didn't have any extra money and where they're going it looks like about three days. They're going into Peru where there's supposedly a job waiting. So. <clears throat> I'm looking, they're going to sacrifice another three days of eating so that they can get to where they're going. And it's just, I mean, it's just, it's just hard to see. And, you know, the, the kids, well, you can imagine. So I didn't know what to do. I took $20 out of my, out of my wallet and I kind of rolled it up tight in my hand. And, you know, it's like nobody wants to feel like a charity case. On the other hand, you know, it's a mom with kids, so I, I, I mulled it over for a while, and finally I just I kind of discreetly slipped it into her hand, and and she took it without a blink of an eye, and that's that's what a mom would do. And then she starts crying. And then she starts crying. I mean, not boo hoo boo hoo, but. She's got tears running down her face. What's going on in Venezuela is a mess. And it just kills me when I see people on Facebook talking about how it's the people and the government's good. And I see the former government of Ecuador, you know, raving about that government and that president. and. It, the the whole thing is just a total disaster and anybody who can't see it they just don't want to see it <clears throat> there's really nothing we can do you know people have to make their own destiny in their own country um, but it's a hard thing to see Okay, that aside, um, update where I am. As I said, I'm in Tulcan. I'm waiting for my bus. I'm supposed to get on at 4.30 this afternoon. This is Tuesday. Um, it's, it's um, as I mentioned, it's a double-decker, so it'll be nice and comfortable. And it's going to take about 14 hours, so I should come rolling in with the stop in Quito um, probably about 8 o'clock in the morning, 7.30, get in a cab, get home. I know I'll be exhausted. I have a really hard time sleeping on buses. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I could be dog tired. Like I, Right now I'm dog tired. But I'll get on that bus and it'll be very difficult. But all in all, it was a great trip. I can't wait to show you um, some clips, tell you some things, tell you some new things that I discovered that I'd never known before. And uh, also to put together all the old clips. I've got some going back to Christmas and New Year's that I, I haven't put up. So I've got uh, quite a backlog. So I'll see if I can get this uploaded today, hopefully, um, so I can try to stay on top of it. And I'll see you soon. You know you could.